All right, what is going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Asus ZenBooks. This is the 2020 model. This is the 2021 model. Now I'm gonna come out and say that this 2021 model is a mystery because I can't find any information online in regards to Asus's official website. It just doesn't exist to them. But on other um, retailers websites, they have some, I guess, general specifications. But from my own experience and testing that I've done with this laptop, it's pretty much identical to the 2020 model. And I don't want to, you know, honestly waste your guys' time because it's a very similar in a lot of sense. But what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna highlight the differences um, between both machines and then tell you which one you should get. But I'm gonna say right now, just get the 2021 model. So with that out the way, I'm going to switch to the overhead and we can talk about some of the design changes that they did. So on your guys' left is the 2020 model, and then on your guys' right is the 2021 model. Now, as you can see, in terms of the keycaps themselves on the 2020 model, it doesn't actually extend all the way out to the edges. And this is what, one of my complaints because I feel like Asus could have used some speaker grills on the top and have some um, upward firing speakers in terms of better audio sound. Um, but on the 2020 mo 2021 model, Unfortunately, they didn't listen to me, but the speakers do sound better and I'll get into that in a second. But as you can see, the keycaps actually extend all the way out to the edges and it's a little bit indented as well. Um, there's a lot more angles on this machine. So that's another thing. And it looks like the arrow keys are just a tad bit bigger. And if you are a person who uses the right side in terms of, you know, the controls, shift, enter, all those other buttons, they're elongated a little bit. So it's a lot easier to hit those keys, you know, with your pinky or ring finger or what have you. So another major change that you guys are going to see is the screen itself. Let me actually scoot this over. Um, as you can see on the 2021 model, we have ZenBook written here at the bottom and that kind of pushes the screen up a little bit. And that just makes the overall machine a little bit taller. But now if we close the machines, this is where the design changes come into play. So let me lift this up for you guys. So on the 2020 model, big complaint that I had was the speakers were right here. And when I was listening to videos and, or I should say, when I was watching videos and listening to music on my bed, the speakers were covered up and it sounded horrible. And overall, you will see that this is just a more of a rounded bottom, um, kind of like the MacBook in a sense. But when we switch over to the 2021 model, they did make improvements in this department. So the speakers are now on the side. It's still on the bottom, unfortunately, but it's not as bad as it seems. It's angled. So this is really what makes contact on surfaces. So the speakers and the audio comes out towards the side. So that's something that I really appreciate that Asus did in this 2021 model. Um, another thing that I want to say is if you want to remove the bottom, you have to take off these rubber pads right here and there will be two additional screws. Um, so another thing, this is really minor, but on the top of the machines, you'll see that there is Asus written in the middle on the uh, 2020 model and then on the 2021 model, it's written off to the side. Another little bit of a design change is that this one is a little bit of a darker tone, like a darker, I don't wanna use the word graphite, but it's, it's just like a darker gray. This one's pretty much just like your standard silver. All right, so now I wanna talk about the ports for a little bit. So as you can see on the 2020 model, we have USB-A, HDMI, USB-C, and this is something that I didn't really mind. I actually appreciated it, but you can't actually charge the laptop through the USB-C port on the 20, 2020 model. But when I bring up the 2021 model, you'll see that we have two USB-C ports and the HDMI, the H, uh, headphone jacks on the other side, but you can actually charge the laptop through the USB-C on the 2021 model. Now, when we flip it around, you'll notice that we still have our SD card slot. The 2020 model still has a USB-A port, it's just on the other side. And then the headphone jacks are still there. So with the overall outside comparisons done, let's talk about what is essentially similar. So the trackpads are pretty much identical. When it comes to the display in terms of what the resolution is, the nits, the color accuracy, they look to be exactly the same. It doesn't seem like Asus changed anything here. So both of these computers also have Windows Hello with facial recognition. I found that the facial recognition is a little bit better on the 2021 model just in terms of the angles. 
Um, I feel like I have to get really close to the 2020 model in order for it to read my face. Um, I forgot about this design change, but you'll notice that this computer is just a little bit longer compared to the 2020 model. Um, another thing I want to mention is the Wi-Fi card. It's exactly the same. The keycaps, I, it's really hard for me to say. This feels really mushy to me compared to the 2020 model. I enjoy the typing experience more on the 2020 model. The 2021 model, it just seems like they removed something when you actually get to the bottom of the key that just doesn't make it as satisfying. But with this darker finish, like the darker gray that they have on the 2021 model, it is a lot easier to see the keycaps during the day, which was my biggest gripe about the 2020 model. Now let's talk about some of the major differences. So as you can see on the 2021 model, we have sound by Harman Kardon and the speakers sound substantially better than the 2020 model. Now I'm saying this because when you watch content or listen to music, if you decide to crank it up all the way to the max, cause you know, you're enjoying your day, the 2020 model, it's good. But for me, there's like a slight buzz sound or buzz sound. Whereas on the 2021 model, it is very clear. There is no buzzing. The bass is a little bit lacking, but in comparison to the 2020 model, it sounds noticeably better. Take a listen. All right, so this is the camera and microphone test of the 2020 and 2021 Asus ZenBooks. You guys can tell me how the microphone and camera sounds. So just looking at the camera quality alone, the 2020 model looks better, but for some, not for some reason, the light is shining on me directly right here. And then this is more of like darker towards my apartment. So that could be the reason why I'll probably flip them just so you guys can see the difference. In terms of the microphone quality, the 2021 model Asus says it has um, an AI noise cancellation thing going on. All right, so now let's talk about something that is probably the most important to some people, and that would be the specs. Now, in terms of the CPU department, the Asus ZenBook has the Ryzen 4000 series, and the 2021 model has the Ryzen 5000 series. They're both using the Zen 2 architecture, and when I ran some benchmarks, in terms of the single core performance, they are pretty much identical. It's not until you start using multi-core that you start to see a major difference between the 2020 model and the 2021 model. The Ryzen 5000 series, even though it's still running Zen 2, the multi-core performance was much better. But this is where I was a little bit disappointed, and this is the graphics department. So this has the MX350, and then this has the MX450. And unfortunately, through all the testing that I did, even with them plugged in, the performance is essentially identical. I can't really find a difference between the two. The only thing that makes this a better gaming experience are the fans. I don't know what it is with the 2020 model. This is the second one I've had. And when the fans ramp up, they just stay at 100% and they do not stop until I turn the machine off. The fan control on the 2021 model, um, at least from the unit I bought, has actually done its job. Like it will ramp up when it gets hot and then it will start to, you know, spin itself down once the temperatures are at a pretty good, um, I guess, temperature. Now, some of the games that I played because I am limited to the MX series. Um, in terms of Apex Legends, I got anywhere between like 30 to 40 FPS. 
Occasionally I'll drop down to 25, but it's completely pay playable. Um, if you were looking to get 60 FPS, you're gonna have to like drop it down to low, which honestly isn't that bad, but it's completely playable at the frame rate that I played at, which was 30 to 40 most of the time. Um, I know a lot of people like to play Sims 4, played it no problem at the max settings. Minecraft, ironically, actually not ironically, maybe it's ironically, but the Asus ZenBook 2020 had better frame rates on Minecraft than the 2021 model. I thought that was a little bit strange. Um, what other games did I play? Um, Fortnite plays no problem. Basically all the entry level games that aren't like super demanding, it can run the game in a playable sense. But if you're trying to play like AAA titles, that's where you might start to see the MX um, series start to struggle. Now, the other major difference between the two is the price. Now, this one, let me look at the price real quick. The price on the 2021 model or 2020 model is $699 and occasionally it goes on sale for $549. But the 2021 model is, I believe, $719. Yep, $719. And this one also goes on sale, but I can't remember the price of when it does go on sale. I would say you should get the 2021 model just because in terms of the overall build quality and construction, it's a better package overall. Yes, it is slightly better or bigger and you're losing a bit of bezels at the bottom because they decided to slap Asus ZenBook at the bottom here. But the better processor, GPU is the same, so you're not really losing anything there. And the ability to charge through USB-C, I think in itself, is worth it okay that is really the difference between these two machines the processor and the ability to be powered by uh, USB-C other than that these computers are essentially identical and the speakers are better on here too so hopefully you found this video informative I appreciate every sub like and comment and as always guys much love and